Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to look at an update to the um, Build Me Car robot. So uh, previously I've looked at the construction of the robot itself, but today I'm going to look at um, a special uh, series of projects on adding data acquisition system. And they're all called the Me Car DAS for data acquisition system. And the project I'm going to look at today is Rover DAS 14. And um, this is what it looks like on the desktop. It's a um, another layer of electronics that goes on any of the um, Rovers, including the um, LEGO Mindstorms EV3 Mars Rover, or alternatively the uh, WaveShare Raspberry Pi Mika Rover, or even the um, microbit um, rovers so there's quite a number of alternatives there and um, just looking at what you get uh, there's the screen of the um, m5 core 2 computer and um, there's quite a lot of parameters there that have been collected uh, from the um, environmental pro unit i'm collecting the local temperature humidity and pressure, and the gas resistance, which can tell us something about how much um, uh, gases, volatile gases there are, or the air quality. There's also a time of flight distance sensor, and there's the IMU data of acceleration in three axis, and the gyroscope data are also in three axis. Uh, we have data from a moisture sensor. There's data from the uh, microphone, of the core two, and uh, we've added a uh, rotary potentiometer to uh, look at how reliable and accurate the internal analog to digital converters are on core two. And we're comparing those with a uh, voltmeter unit that can measure the battery voltage. And so much for the um, the hardware let's have a look at what the objectives of the project are what we're doing on this project is to make a data acquisition system to measure local environment uh, of the temperature humidity pressure and uh, we're going to transmit that data over both a serial port and um, to um, our home wi-fi mqtt server so that other computers can access all the data. And the idea is we're interested in measuring the moisture of rocks. So we're only simulating this at the moment, and we're simulating a uh, an environment on Mars. So we're also measuring distance, IMU data, and uh, gyro data. So, um, and uh, one of the objectives is to get an accurate voltage reading from our uh, Mars rover uh, batteries. And we want to show all those measurements on the Core 2 LCD and show the status there too. We want to also explore what the limitations are in connecting uh, devices to the um, Core 2 computer. So in the design, we've developed um, serial comms on the core two. And to do that, we have to look at the allocation of the pins. And uh, we can see here that uh, TX for transmit uh, D0 is on uh, GPIO1. And uh, that's connected to the uh, USB serial. So we use one and three uh, data in our software. For MQTT, we use Wi-Fi. And uh, for the voltage, we're going to compare the internal ADC with the M5 voltmeter unit. For hardware, we're using the uh, Core 2 computer. And um, the Core 2 computer is more recent than the Core. Uh, and it actually has quite a number of um, devices also um, connected. So it's got a touch screen and um, it's got a microphone 
uh, built in, together with the uh, IMU uh, that gives us the acceleration and the uh, gyroscope data. And the cost of that, for those interested, is $46.50. And we'll have a look at the other units. We've got um, the Earth unit, and uh, we're just using uh, that to measure the um, moisture on a, uh, a rock. And we're simulating some of the conditions on Mars for that. The time of flight, that's going to be used in a um, an arm, which is servo controlled by the main uh, rover unit. So uh, EV3 medium motor uh, will have um, the Earth sensor unit on it. And uh, when we're close uh, to the rock, the time of flight will tell the rover to stop um, the uh, servo motor. For the local environmental data, we're using uh, the Environmental Pro that gives us um, the measurements of temperature, humidity, pressure, and gas, and gas. And th that's what it looks like. For We're using a potentiometer and the voltmeter. And um, for software, oh, the connection. Let's have a look at the connection diagram. So you can see that the core two We've added a uh, external port for uh, Core 2, and that gives us access to additional ports, that is ports uh, D and E. And um, we've even got a, a, an additional port there that we could use. So you can see how we've connected everything. We've, we've got a main um, I2C uh, bus, and that's where our time of flight and our uh, environmental pro unit are connected. There's a second um, I2C bus, and that goes into uh, port E, and that's where our voltmeter is connected. And the reason for that is that the, um, the Core 2 didn't like too many I2C devices connected to its main bus. Software-wise, we're using the um, UI Flow, and uh, we'll have a look at that at the moment. Um, this is what the uh, user interface looks like. And you can see that I've selected the uh, the units on the bottom there, and I've painted the screen so that it uh, is going to track all of the data that we're collecting. In fact, there are 15 parameters of data that we're collecting there. And we can also see the, see the status of the Wi-Fi connection and the connection to uh, MQ. TT. Our MQTT device, it can be anything on the network, can also um, publish commands that tell us what data that we want to collect. So let's have a look at the um, program on the IDE, the UI Flow version one. And on the uh, top left, we've um, got the uh, UI uh, where we've painted the data uh, of our um, uh, for our screen on the core two. So you can see that we've set up all the parameters and their labels, and we've also set up additional parameters for monitoring the Wi-Fi status and the status of MQTT. And um, this is the um, data uh, of the units that we're using. We're using five units, the uh, Environmental Pro, Time of Flight, Earth, Angle, and the Voltmeter. And that's um, on the uh, just below our UI diagram. On the right, we've got the uh, flow diagram for our code. And um, we might actually just um, have a look at that in a little bit more detail. So we look at the uh, top left and uh, there we're setting up the software timer and that uh, gives us an interrupt every five seconds uh, to uh, transmit data via MQTT. Uh, we then set up the voltmeter and the analog to digital converter on pin 34. We set up um, Wi-Fi 
and we set up our MQTT server. Uh, we also set up under setup our microphone, and uh, we're all ready to go. So under the loop, we just go through a cycle of getting the moisture, getting the environmental data, the distance, the IMU data, the potentiometer data uh, that's measured that our uh, ADC is measuring, and the voltage from our voltmeter. And um, we then look at the uh, data from the serial port, and that gives us a command. And we process that command in the uh, function process command. Uh, we also initialize the packets for transmission. So there are um, uh, four of these here, and the first three correspond to the buttons. So if we press a button, we can transmit the uh, data by MQTT or the serial port to a Windows PC. So um, this is the uh, packet. And it's in the uh, comma uh, format, similar to um, CSV for uh, Microsoft Excel. And here are some of the other commands for processing buttons and functions for sending commands. And our um, timer, uh, our event um, module for our uh, timer is shown here. This is where we send the packets of our Rover 1 to the various um, uh, data uh, centers. Okay, so uh, when we process command, depending on that command, and it could be that the uh, Rover uh, is sending that command to the data acquisition system to start a process. Okay, so uh, that's the software. And um, it all went reasonably well, except we um, uh, found that the time to do all this processing and collect serial data, um, there's a, a bit of a time lag there, and uh, we could, um, we're could we always missing out on some of that data. So that's one issue that um, I need to work on. Okay, so um, stay tuned, and I'll show you a desktop um, version of what's going on. Here we have the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 uh, configured as a, uh, a Mars rover. And it's uh, running the um, Linux operating system. So that's um, located on a SD card. In addition to um, driving, it also has a, um, a data acquisition system. Uh, or Rover DAS, and um, I'm con constructing these, developing these at the moment, and I started off with um, one on a M5 stack core computer, and um, there's the core computer, and it, this becomes the next layer on the robot, the Mars robot, so it goes just above uh, using the same Lego base plate. And um, while I've started this one, I've moved on to the Core 2. So the first one was Core 1, this is Core 2. And Core 2 actually has quite a number of additional um, sensors built in. And uh, in this one, I'm using them all. So if we actually look at it, there are 15... Uh, the 15 data items being mapped. So yeah, right on top we've got um, the um, environmental data from a um, Environment Pro unit. So we've got temperature, humidity, pressure and gas resistance. Just under that we've got the IMU data uh, and before that we've got a, um, a T time of flight distance center sensor. And uh, in the IMU, we're measuring acceleration in three axes and the uh, gyroscope in three axes. Under that, we've got the moisture sensor data. 
We're also measuring the sound and we're measuring the um, voltage on a rotary potentiometer and we've got a, um, a voltmeter. So those devices, uh, some of them are here, the external ones, there's the um, environmental pro sensor, uh, the rotary potentiometer uh, and the time of flight. The voltmeter is just over here and we have the moisture detector on the um, top right. And um, we're using two I to C buses, and one of them is running um, two devices into a I to C hub, which goes on to one of the buses. The other bus goes on to the voltmeter. And um, the data that's collected uh, is uh, transmitted by both USB serial and also um, MQTT via Wi-Fi. So um, if we actually look at MQTT, we can see the data uh, from the Rover 1 being transmitted and updated every five seconds. There's a, another version I'm working on, and it's the Core S3 version. And you can only uh, develop this on UI Flow uh, version 2 or Arduino and uh, the advantage of this one is that it's got a built-in camera um, but I'm still having difficulty getting the other devices to work on it and that's the um, data acquisition system uh, or Rover DAS using the M5 stack core computers.